Welcome back. Science class is standard in elementary school grades, but when it's taught using hands-on learning, kids absorb and retain more of the information. One South Bay program is taking science from standard to exciting and giving kids a lesson they'll never forget. Octopus, jellyfish, turtles, and sharks. These are just some of the animals that are part of the Living Coast Discovery Center located on a wildlife refuge in Chula Vista. They're also part of the center's education programs, which create an interactive learning environment for students. These are uh, horn shark egg cases. The Chula Vista Elementary School District partnered with the center when it opened in 1987. Teachers can choose from 16 different coastal education lessons that correspond to what they're teaching in class. And the great thing about the Living Coast Discovery Center is that we, we really focus on the educational aspects of the wildlife that, that is found here in the center. This first guy is a sturgeon. Look at the size of this guy. We reach up to 15,000 students a year that come through our formal educational programs. This one is completely covered in wax. Karen Kiros is the science resource teacher on special assignment at the center and has led the coastal education program for the past 10 years. It's an amazing program because the kids come out here and it's such an impact for them because it's extremely tangible, it's extremely tactile, they're seeing, it's visual, and they're doing things that they've never done before a lot of the times. Recently, the Port of San Diego awarded $37,000 in transportation funds to the district so more students are able to participate in this valuable experience. First to arrive today are second graders from Lillian J. Rice Elementary, who will start the day off as budding botanists, learning about plant adaptations. So what do you see all over the leaf? Make sure you get it really clear. And they're also using microscopes for the first time, which is really exciting for them, um, getting to learn how to focus and, and realizing that when you do look in a microscope, you're actually seeing it larger than what it was before. Um, they feel like real scientists. What do you see? Here's. In addition to classroom learning, kids get docent guided tours that get them up close and personal with nature, from animal encounters to a nature trail walk to the bay. Not only do they get the standards based education here, they actually are excited about learning and they're excited about science and they want to know more and asking more questions and motivated to learn more. And that I think is really. A wonderful thing about this place. It's absolutely important. This is their very first field trip and they are amazed. They are learning so many details about what they just get to see uh, a little bit of in the classroom. I saw a shark and we, and we got to touch him. My favorite part of today was finding the nature hunt. What covers the whole body of the fish? These Feaster Charter School fifth graders are getting a lesson in anatomy with an ultimate hands-on experience. So they're going to be dissecting a Pacific mackerel. You grab that part and pull it on out. And they're going to be comparing the anatomy of a fish to our anatomy. Right next to the heart. And we talk about each system and how they work together. And so it's, it's really exciting to kind of show them a fish and then say this is exactly what's inside of you also. And uh, you'll see they get really, really excited about it. You know, this might be something that inspires a kid to be a surgeon or maybe they now care a lot more about wildlife. And so this type of situation is something that we can't always do in the classroom. And so coming here allows kids to have that hands-on experience that that will go forth and, and inspire them to be something that maybe they didn't have exposure to before. <laughs> it made me feel happy because I've always wanted to touch like a heart and everything, so it was really interesting and like the eyes, like I popped the eyeball, so it was really cool. Well, at first I was kind of grossed out, but then it was actually kind of fun. It was gross, but it was pretty fun, like to see all the parts of the fish inside. These are really memorable experiences. I have them come out and when they get excited about science and they excited about the world around them, they start caring about the world around them, which can inspire them to be lifelong learners about their environment. An environment that has a brighter future with these inspired students. The Living Coast Discovery Center also has educational day camps available all year round. You can find more information on our website, 4SD.com, on the Salute to Education page. Back in a minute.